am out in the Wenatchee National Forest. I am hiking in super deep snow. I have my brand new Light AF pack. I have a homemade polk sled and I'm looking for the perfect campsite. Let's go. Let me pause for a second. The video that you are about to see is not the video that I intended to make. That clip that I just showed you was actually taken a few days ago when I was on a snow camping trip and I didn't know it at the time, but I was about to have one of the worst panic attacks of my life. This video is going to include a pretty frank discussion about mental health and about uh, depression and anxiety. Just a heads up. <laughs> This is my show, gosh darn. First, I wanna start at the beginning so I can kind of show you this entire trip and the process that led up to me having a panic attack and then ultimately making the decision that I did. It was a beautiful snowy morning. Hey everybody, I'm here too. Remember me? Today I have hiked out into the backcountry to spend a night in the deep snow. I am here in the Wenatchee National Forest and I've hiked in about a mile or so, towing my homemade polk sled and using my brand new light AF pack. I am carrying in more than enough gear to set up a beautiful, snowy, luxurious campsite. So I'm going to turn off, head up the hill here, and we'll hopefully find a perfect spot to set up camp. Right now, it is gently snowing. It's actually really beautiful snow. I've actually been waiting for what I would consider to be like the perfect weather window. I think that this is it. Let's go. I am looking for a spot that has pretty flat ground and that is not underneath trees that are covered in snow and like I mean all the trees are covered in snow but I'm trying to avoid any area where like a big chunk of snow might fall from a branch it's really dangerous but cool thing about a national forest is that as long as I am clear of a trail and a road and like some distance from running water I can pretty much camp anywhere we're gonna go a little bit further and see if we can find a nice flat open space for me and Rainer to set up our tents Yay! Whew. So I have a generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and a major depressive disorder. This is super common. This is not uncommon stuff. Something between like 5 and 12% of the population deals with one of or multiple of these disorders. I'm saying this because I think it's really important for me to be upfront about what I deal with when it comes to mental health and the tools that I have personally that help me manage it when I'm backpacking and hiking. I've gone a little over a mile now, so not super far. And now I'm just keeping my eyes out for a great spot to set up my tent. And I'll show you everything I brought with me. Woo! Trying to pull sled is hard, y'all. Maybe that sled. Ah! <laughs> So often anxiety and depression don't look like on the outside what they feel like on the inside. I would say like on a day-to-day -day basis that my depression and my anxiety are very manageable. But despite all of that, sometimes there is this perfect storm that comes together to mean that no matter how well managed I would consider my mental health to be, it can still result in something like what I experienced on this backpacking trip, a panic attack. We need to find a spot pretty soon. We're coming up on time. We just need to find a spot like in the next 10 minutes. There's nothing good up here. It's all like directly under None of this is good. Yeah, there's not really any good spot. This is all just slanted. I'm getting worried. Actually, Rainer, there's a really good spot down here. It might be a little bit more open. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, anywhere in here surrounding this big tree, this is all fine. So I think I'm gonna go off towards this pine tree that's on my right. This uh, snowshoe trail that I'm on right now continues up, but the slopes get pretty steep up there and it's snowing a lot. And so I wanna kinda stay on flatter ground. Here we go. I wanted a spot that was not underneath the trees. This is totally open, which is nice. We are in an area where the ground is mostly flat. Ideally, it'd be a little bit further from the trail, but this is not a super populated area, and there probably won't be many more snowshoers here today or skiers, so I think it's okay. Now the hard part begins, stomping down a site. Hey -ya. So I'm stomping down all this snow so that I have a flat place to set up my tent and uh, I need a compact surface. So I'm basically just compacting all of the fluffy snow. It is snowing so hard. We were told it would be like less than an inch of accumulation. I think we've already had like three inches. Okay, that to me feels like a good amount of space. I actually brought my Durston tent with me. I said last year that I wanted to test this in inclement weather and this seems like the perfect chance to do that. I will say that I got a little bit nervous as we were looking for a spot to set up camp. Camping in the snow is always a little bit scary for me just because there's a lot more risks, you know, um, things like hypothermia and avalanches and having a bad time, stuff like that but I think we found the perfect spot. Oh, one quick thing that I do wanna say, cause this is a sponsored video. For me, one of the big triggers for panic attacks and for depression is definitely chronic pain. I have chronic migraines. It's something that I've had since I was about 17 years old. Because I know that my migraines make my anxiety worse, I do everything I can to help avoid my migraines. One of the things that I have found to be incredibly beneficial for me is properly hydrating. And in my case, it's actually getting more electrolytes. And as a lot of you know, my electrolyte of choice is Element. I recommend Element all the time to people. And it's not just because they are a huge sponsor of my channel. It's because genuinely it has made my life overall better. And so why wouldn't I wanna share that with all of you? If you haven't tried Element, you can go to the link below, which is drinklmnt.com slash Miranda Goes Outside. If you place an order for Element there, you'll actually get a sample pack that has all of Element's different flavors. Check out Element. For me, that has been such an awesome and beneficial way for me to manage my migraine and my pain, which generally means that I can keep my anxiety and my depression under control as well. I just got really anxious about the new snow and all of that. First thing I have to do is get my waterproof gloves. Stake came out as I was stepping and I stepped on my tent and put a hole in it. Stabbed a hole in my tent with my snowshoes. I think that'll do. Okay. Jeez. Okay. All my stakes are trying to come out. You see that? All right, we're just gonna put snow on top of them. 
Tamping it down. Oh no. It all just fell apart. <laughs> Seems more secure. Wow, it is two o'clock in the afternoon and it is already getting really dark. Now that my tent is up, I'm going to grab my pack and all the stuff that's actually in my polk sled and just bring it underneath this shelter so I can get a little bit better organized. It is still snowing pretty hard, which means everything's getting wet. So I just want to keep some things dry inside. sitting in my Durston shelter right now. I've brought literally everything that I brought with me into the shelter. So I have my polk sled over there. I have this huge duffel bag that was full of all my luxury items. And then I also have my pack here, my fanny pack. And then my lap, you can see I have one of the three blankets that I brought with me. I always tell people that I am a fair weather backpacker and that like I only like backpacking when it's nice out. And then I get really excited about going snow backpacking and like spending a little bit of time out in the back country in the deep snow. And the hike here was so short, but I have been so stressed, like pretty much since we got to camp. Yeah, I'm like a little bit disappointed in myself. Come on, Miranda, like this is beautiful. You're out in a gorgeous spot. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm having a lot of feelings. This is my little setup. So I have my trekking poles. Those are holding up my tent. I was actually planning on putting the actual interior tent part of the Durston up, but now I'm thinking that I won't because right now it feels like I have so much space in here. And I think that putting up the interior tent will limit the amount of space that I have. So I'm thinking that instead what I'm gonna do is actually lay out the tarp that I had on my pulk sled. Boop, that one right there. And uh, then kind of put my sleeping pad and all my other stuff on top of that but not actually put the interior tent up inside my tarp. Unintentionally, I am tarp camping in the snow. <laughs> Snowy view. There's Rainer over there. How you holding up, bud? I choked on my sandwich. <laughs> Sounds like a euphemism. The sun has been behind clouds all day today. You can kind of see it peeking out over there. But once that actually sets and goes down, then it's gonna be super dark. So. I want to try and get all my stuff set up before that happens. So I'm going to take you on a tour now. <laughs> in here, I have my pack. All I have in here right now is my sleep system and a couple of extra layers and also my stove. I'm sitting on this closed cell phone sleeping pad. This is the Nemo Switchback. So just keeping my butt warm and dry. My bear canister. And then I actually have two camp chairs as well. Once this tarp dries off a little bit, I'm actually going to lay it down inside this tent, I think. And that'll give me an extra layer of protection. And then on top of that, I'll be able to put a blanket and then my sleeping pad and then my sleeping bag. So here we have the reason that my pulk sled was so heavy. This duffel bag is loaded with blankets, extra water and lanterns and just stuff to really make this snow camp comfortable. So I brought a rumple blanket, a thermarest poncho, and then another extra large thermarest blanket. I also have my book that I'm reading, camp slippers, fleece pants, five liters of water. I also have in here a number of little Moji lanterns from Black Diamond. It's gonna get really dark here in the next like two hours and it'll only be 5 p.m. when the sun sets. So I really want to be able to have enough light that I don't feel like depressed and sad and I can still kind of enjoy being out here even after the sun sets. So that is my luxurious snow camping setup. If you saw my winter camping checklist video, then a lot of the stuff that I'm using in this video is going to look familiar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff all set up. I don't even know if this tarp is a good idea. I just need something protecting my sleeping pad. Oh, this tarp just slides everywhere. That's maybe a bad idea. What am I doing? What am I doing? Now I guess my sleeping pad. I just feel like everything's gonna be like shifting around constantly. As I was setting up my stuff, it was like all of the emotions and the feelings of the day kind of caught up to me. 
And uh, I think that was when I knew that I was about to have a panic attack. Okay, I don't really know what to do. Um, Setting up? I don't even know what to, I don't know what to do. I just like don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Miranda, just breathe, get out of those feelings, just get breathe. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. It was like, despite the fact that I have set up tents and set up campsites in the snow, in all sorts of weather, in the rain, in the you know, very hot summers, too many times to count. At this moment, I felt like I had no idea what I was doing and I could not for the life of me think about what step came next. Okay. Oh. <sighs> uh, oh. So uh, I have stopped setting up my tent. <laughs> It is right now only about like three o'clock, so maybe three thirty. So I still have a little bit of daylight before the sun goes down, and I'm just trying to essentially assess like why I'm feeling so bad, why I'm feeling so anxious, and uh, decide if it would be better for me to like suck it up and deal, or if it'd be better for me to go home. Show. Um, I'm gonna pull myself together and uh, figure out what we do next <laughs> because yeah I don't know that's what's up with me what's up with you <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Rainer because this is not a one-person decision this is a two-person decision <laughs> gonna pack up and go home my brain is just not in the right spot I think it's the right call I think it's the right choice it sucks it's kind of sad but uh it's not like I am far from home it's not like I'm far from the trailhead it's not like I can't come out here again it's not like this is a bucket list trip that I absolutely had to do today there is a time and a place to push through a feeling to like get to the other side and there's a time and a place to like take a step back rest, recuperate, and uh, analyze a plan for the future. I always tell other people to like listen to your body, and this is me listening to my body, and we're gonna go home. It's all right, buddy. It's okay, I understand. Thank you. Okie doke, pack up time. It's kind of cool, we do get to hike out with headlamps on, so that's an adventure. See? everything that goes on there. Let's go. Woo. Now, if you've watched this entire video and you're like, why would you share all of this with me? That's okay. But I'm hoping that there's at least somebody who's watching this and feels seen. My entire goal with this channel is to share my outdoorsy lifestyle with all of you and to hopefully help you see yourself outside and share as much knowledge as I can with you. I realized that I was not serving myself by being out there. And probably to me, the most important thing is that I wasn't actually going to be serving all of you as like the audience to this channel if I pushed through trying to make a video about a cozy, snowy winter campsite when I was feeling so incredibly down. I could either have faked it and made it look fun even though I wasn't having a good time or I can be honest with you and I can say even sometimes in the best conditions and most beautiful places with all of the gear that you need fully prepared sometimes it's just not right and that's okay.
I am definitely going to go on another snowy winter overnight trip. I've left my bag pretty much packed up because I just know I wanna go out again. And I promise that I will share that video with all of you once I get out there. I love you all. I will see you outside. Bye. Hi, buddy. You can't stay right here. You gotta, um, you gotta go back to your bed, okay? Okay. Okay. It's like Tucker knows that I'm talking about something emotional and he just comes to check in. Mwah.